Thursday afternoon. I'm gonna get the cows across the road for the first time on the spring unit, first time this year. So we've got to go and across the road now because we've got some nice long grass while they're going out on. All the lay grass we planted in the autumn is grown up long. What is unheard of on this farm, usually this time of year is nothing. Here's the road. We're just waiting. Tim's just gonna bunch of cows out, it's not many. It's all the fresh calvers. But as soon as he bunches them out tight, we're gonna uh, get a space amongst the traffic. Should be quite quiet, because it's a Thursday in uh, market days, Wednesday, Friday, sometimes Monday. But it's um, still quite a few cars about. There's a few coming that way, a few coming this way. Very busy with lorries all this morning. It's our milk tanker. It's gonna bunch of it's gonna be fast though, yeah, because it's only about 55, I think. So last time I'd done a video, it's so I said 21, didn't I? Now we're now we're 55, so we're banging them through. Absolutely banging through. So we're gonna have a good week this week. We're gonna come in at um about 40 for the first week, like official week. And next week we should go about 70, then 70 again. And then it'll slow up a little bit, I can imagine, in drip and drab all the way there, middle of April probably. But we'll see how it goes. Every year is different. Right, still waiting for all these cars to pass. Emma's over there, she's gonna give me the signal and she's gonna wang the gate open. We're gonna wait for a clear gap. Right, we're ready, Emma. Let's go. Let's go. Nothing's coming. Nice and fast. Right, here you go. Here they come. Come in. Get milked and staying on side tonight. So last year when we started carving, we, we dried all the cows off and then we started carving in afresh. This year we've carried on through. What's well, been pretty good actually, their actual cell counts have been pretty spot on considering usually it's quite tough um, with like your uh, your stale cows milking them on through what are nearly dry. But so this year it's been a bit different. We've always been sending milk on with a milk tanker. So, and it has been back to a pretty normal year where um, the cell counts are a little bit up and down. And the cows swap the carbon in, we've held them back a little bit longer because the cell counts are taking a bit of time to drop off. There is a whole side here. Right, that's the second side in. All fresh carbons there. Just got that side in, they're full out of day. This is the first side. All fresh cameras there. What I do is I walk in front of them to make sure they're eating a cake. So I can walk down through in front of the parlor there. Yeah? This is how we do a TV testing. What we do is we just lean over here and TV test them like that. Check on all the feeders. You get all the cake, you get two feeders that afternoon. Mean. Fair. This one here chucked a nice car, right? Heifer here. Heifer here. Just me out the front then. And that's the joy case there, right in front, on self feed. So I'm just walking in the calf pen, see how it's all going. So we're starting to build up with calves now. We've got about 45 in total, 52 calved in, 45 calves. We had a few couple, we had two stillborns. We've had two, um, one calf to a twin and he died, uh, they come out dead. And then we have one, what had a um, calf, what was the life for about an hour and then he died or something. So all going really well. Pens are five, all like this. 
keeping fresh water twice a day still, all the time. We tip that out and put a new lot in. Emma's doing the water at the moment. All these have drunk. And we've got the last few over here. So we're going from the oldest, the first one's a calf, and then they went down like this. And then these are a few days old. And you get younger as you go over to here. So then we've got the newest ones over there today. These are about a day old, I think. Yesterday was quite a biggish day. Today we've had six. Got um, four there. That's what we do, very simple system. We keep, uh, just keep a clean bucket in. A clean water bucket in and we put new water in twice a day, in the morning and in the afternoon. You'd be surprised once they finish drinking the milk, how they go over and they drink water. Like that one there, see? He's only a day old and he's drinking water. Right, well, at least it's just finished. So we're on these two five teat feeders at the moment because it's ideal for learning calves. But as soon as we start getting um, getting a lot more in the system, like as soon as we get like 100 or so, we'll start getting some bigger feeders in and we'll have bigger pens over there of like groups of 20. And then when the weather comes, like say March, get some decent weather, we'll work. We'll work a group of 50 out in the field and we'll get them on the big teat feeder. So these will be about five weeks probably when they go out. But some, as we get further on in the spring, will be like anything from three weeks up. Three weeks will be the youngest out in the field. Right, this is today's born. Yesterday's, I mean. They spend one day with the mother in the shed when they calves. So we've got a load in the calving shed at the moment. And then tomorrow morning, those come down, like these come down here this morning. I have a cow there. I think they're pretty much all heifer calves. So these don't know the system at the moment, so what Emma's done is she's going to get them up and put them on the teeth. So you stand them up. They've never been on the teeth before, but they go on quite easy. You start sucking your finger, and then off they go. Look at that. One little squeeze there, mate, and you know what's going on. Oh, here we go, have a look at this. All on sucking, aren't they? See, these ones are a little bit bigger. Anything with a bit of jersey, I see, it's so easy to go. So, first time. They're just straight on. 
The first time on the seat. That's why I love like, these partitions. They're not the easiest feeders to keep clean. They've got a bit in there what like pots out if you've got potty yeah, and plug a few pots in the open one on. You've got to clean them out well. And like the uh, peach teats on the other feeders, what we've got, you just suck through anything. Now on the move. A little caviar come out of heifer. These ones here just finished up. So of all the cars, we've only got um, eight balls in it. Eight balls we've got in here and all the rest have those. Give them all a check over. Like I said, wheat straw only in these pens. Don't bed down with no barley. In fresh water twice a day. You've got to just tip the water out, no matter even if it looks clean and replace it. But we've got nice dry weather at the moment, so that helps out a lot. So just sat in the field at the moment, at one of the paddocks, ready for the mire to set it up for the cows. This is what we do. Got one of these bat latches on the go. So this is a wire along here. It's all wire paddocks on this farm because it's big arable fields and it's all split up in the five acre paddocks um, with all this electric wire. So this is one of the gateways. So I've got what we call here is a bat latch. So we've got this hook on the bat latch, really good hook there. He's replacing, but he does the job. And this will spring open about 12 o'clock dinner time and then the cows will come back in, eat a bit of silage just before milking. Well, spot on because it saves us going to get them in there, just all walk back in. Works extremely well. We could do with a couple a day actually, but we uh, got just the one this time of year, anyway. In this, when you get the proper spring and get proper grass growth, they just go out and then they get shy and they stay in the paddock. Saw some calves out the other day, but we took too many round the back from this shed, they were too small, so we've had a catch three or four and bring them back right so these were little too small compared for the other ones here we are we're going to put them back in the shed with these ones here that might be a good size that will so this is the shed i've cleaned out Oh, here we go. I should do your eyes in there. Don't ask me. Go on. you got to keep the sizing right with the young stock, or they only get smaller. Go on, they don't grow as well. Go on. Oh, that's better. It's a good size, that is. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, I said ten for the shed, didn't I? It's Toby just pushing the silage up. So we only push the silage up once in the daytime because we feed rain twice in the morning. So there's no need because there's plenty of grub there. Now he's just pushing out tight for tonight. So you push it out nice and tight. And then you should gobble all that up. We haven't had to actually sweep much. Um, out this year. Some years see they don't eat it and it starts steaming and we've got to sweep it out. Not this year. That is the only muck there. That is the only size we've had to actually sweep out. Some years it's a massive pile, see. They just don't eat it, but this year we've just been eating a whole lot. It's great. So he spends a bit of time pushing out. As you push out, it inspires the cows to get up and walk on over anymore. Two inside barriers, then we've got an outside barrier in there. They're all settled in for the night. It's getting lighter at night's now, what's better? It's a bit more like spring, isn't it? Uh, 
and this is the outside barrier here and I'll shut this gate as a backup, it's like backup gate so if the cows ever open those doors they can only get out into this yard here Nearly end of the day job, we've just got to get current cow up down the dry cows We have had a bit of digital dermatitis in these cows this winter. We usually do, but I say this year, this year has been a little bit worse. So we've got to keep the foot bath going. There we go. He's all done. Have a cow calf. I don't even cow truck it out. Oh. An hour. Oh, bull calf. Big bull calf. Let's get a box in there, right? Uh, I hope not. Right, let's go. Just gonna go back out of the farm now. Long side parlor. We're gonna put her in a shed next door to the parlor. And then she's staying with camp night and come out for milk in my morning. I right, just gotta wait for Toby. <laughs> <laughs> Jump any <in your> prep. <laughs> 